Alrighty, Roo. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, wonderful night, whatever it is for you guys are in this lovely, lovely world. So today, today, we are taking a look at three more mods. If you haven't already checked out episode one, make sure to go check it out. It is a new side series we're running here on the channel where we explore each and every mod that they have in the mods list. Um, I haven't decided if we're going to do premium mods quite yet or not, so uh, we will get around to that. I know not everyone likes premium mods, so... It's not even on the table at the moment. Maybe we will later on. But uh, right now, we're covering all the free mods just to show you guys what they're like, what they do, and uh, if there's something that you're interested in. If you find yourself enjoying at any point in time, maybe smash that like button. really helps out. Make me feel uh, warm and fuzzy inside and helps YouTube recommend these to more people. Um, if you like subscribing, too, you know, that, that also helps. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop on in and take a look at episode, uh, the uh, first mod on the list. So... Mod number one today is Wit's Silly Cat Collection. Now this one here is a custom cosmetic. We're just going to uh, put this down right there, I guess. Um, now this one here is slightly different than most other custom cosmetics, at least ones I've used. With this one here, we want to come in here to your cosmetics. And just like other custom cosmetics, these do not need to be downloaded server-side. These are just a... A U side, you download them, they work. Uh, if you play a single player, you won't notice them in your mod list. They just kind of activate. So what we're going to do is come in here and we are going to grab a couple of these. Um, I guess we've got a couple already here. So we'll take these. You have to make sure to put them down here. This is one thing that I noticed through testing. Um, it was not working. I couldn't get them on no matter what I did. If you place them down here, it just makes it so much easier. So with these ones here, you need to place a small decor box and then go in and craft yourself these cosmetics, which are free. Once you've selected one, you want to just come over here and you'll notice it just kind of changes what we're doing. So click it on there. Bingo, bingo. We've changed our decor box into a cute little cat. Um, I mean, it doesn't, uh, doesn't alter what it is. Like you can still use it as a decor box. Um, it just makes it look like cute little kitties. And, uh, we've got a few different variations here. So, uh, depending... Oh, that one's... That one's pretty realistic looking. Um, depending on which you prefer, you can, uh, have all kinds of these lying around. Have a little, little kitty, kitty phallus if you want. I mean, they're pretty, pretty cute. I don't know. I like them. Um, at first I thought they were going to be like a, like a little chibi or something. But uh, once I got in here and was exploring a little bit more, I noticed that they're for the decor boxes. And uh, just a cute little way to add some decorations around your uh, your map, your your game, your whatever you're building. Um, again, if you like kitties, these are pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that is the Witch Silly Cat Collection. And uh, we are going to move on with the second mod. So the second mod in today's episode is called Cliffin's Decor Conquest Furniture. Now this one here is really, really neat. It didn't seem to add a crazy amount of stuff, but it, what it adds, it does a great job with. So I have a couple of wyverns spawned in here just kind of for some testing. Um, one thing I haven't been able to get to work, I'll show you in a second. So anyways, this here, you get a little crafting bench here. And inside your crafting bench, you will be able to craft all kinds of neat things here. Um, if I am missing anything and the mod creator or anyone that knows is watching, let me know down in the comment section what I might have forgotten to show or missed here. But I, th I think I got everything. At least I hope I did. Uh, so anyways, this is your crafting bench you place down. We will start over here at the start here. So, first off, you get this little banner holder here. And, uh, there's a few different ones. You can have a standing one, you can have it on the wall. Um, I think there's one that comes like off the wall and then you create these different banners here in the crafting bench and you can place them on and have your uh, Your place pretty decorative. Oh that didn't realize that was a Hydra. That is cool um, So there is a few different ones. Let's see if I can uh, Hold on here There we go. So when you come in here to structure variants, we can switch what our flag is um, Let's switch it to lion You've got seahorse, if you feel like being, you know, one of them sea dwellers. Uh, this fish, three-headed dragon. Uh, is that two different three-headed dragons? 
feel like that might be... Anyways, um, switch to spear and sun, skulls... Hold on. Well, that, that is really cool. Okay, so yeah, there's quite a few different things you can actually switch it to here if you feel like. i uh, got a nice wolf there. So these can add some really cool decorative uh, builds or build options. Um, when I placed it down, I didn't realize it actually had quite as many things. That is really cool. So yeah, that is the banners. And then next we have the... Let's go to the side here, I think. Does it actually work? Yeah, it does. There we go. So uh, yeah, we've got this bell here. Um, now, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's probably a reason to it. Ring bell. Um, I never even used the one in game, so to be honest, I, I I don't know. I think it will trigger your stuff to neutral or aggressive or something if you ring it. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how that works. Like, did it? Uh... No, they're still on passive. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the bell does, but you can activate it, and I'm pretty sure it does the same thing as the bell in game. Um, which, forgive me for for not knowing. I I really did not use it. I don't know. Um, I know we can ring it. That's cool. We can ring the bell. It does stuff, I'm sure. Um, anyways, the next thing on the list here was something I could not get to work. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something about this. Um, but we got this dragon egg holder, and if we come over in here, it'll actually tell you a little bit about it. So, keeps eggs warm and can be used to incubate nearby eggs. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Um, tried putting the egg inside of it, and it's not incubating it inside. I've tried placing it outside, and it wouldn't incubate it outside either. So, I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. Okay, no. So, yeah, I'm not sure how this part works. Um... Again, if anyone has used this, just let me know in the comment section so that we can help anybody else that's using these. I've tried putting the egg in here. I've tried putting it beside it. Neither one seems to work. And, I mean, it doesn't say you need any kind of a fuel source or anything, so I don't... I don't... I don't think that's the case. Oops, hold on. Let's get rid of that. Nope, get rid of that. Dude. There we go. I'm going to try putting a little bit of fuel in there. I don't think it's a fuel thing. I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, it just doesn't seem to be incubating them. So, I mean, I feel like I'm just, I'm missing something here. Um, again, if anyone knows how that's supposed to work, just let me know. Um, I've tried putting it there. I've tried dropping it. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to be working for me, but uh, maybe that's something with the mod. Maybe it just needs an update. Um, anyways, the next thing over here is the really cool dragon throne. Now, I I, I, I I like this. Like, this honestly has some... Like I said, it didn't have a lot in the in the mod, but it has some cool stuff in the mod. Um, so we have a cool dragon throne here we can just kind of sit on. My hair is poking through my helmet. Don't mind that. Um, let's go to orbital oops, orbital camera for a sec. So, uh, yeah, that that's pretty cool. I don't know. This would fit in some really nice builds, especially people like Yeti on our server, uh, him and Nyx. Love doing castles. I think it's more Yeti than Nyx. But anyways, they love castles, and this would fit perfectly in a castle build. Just just throwing that out there. Um, anyways, so that is that one there. We will move on next. So this is the crafting bench like, like I showed you. Next, we have a Gothic throne, which, same idea. Just another really cool throne to sit in. I mean, who doesn't want a throne in their castle? Like, that. that's kind of key. We kind of need that. Next, we have a Gothic throne with platform. Basically the same idea, it just has a platform on the bottom. Um, these platforms you can actually place down and you can put the the um, thrones on top of them. I think that was the only thing I didn't actually put down was one of those. But anyways, next we have the wooden throne here. Same idea, just kind of big wood throne. Um, I kind of like the, the gothic one. Like the gothic one looks really nice. The dragon one just... Wow, like honestly, those are just really, really cool. Next, we have a painted table. And I think this is more just decorative. Um, d 
Dude, this is a Game of Thrones. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is just the Game of Thrones map. So, uh, well, that's cool. Uh, please don't copyright me. But anyways, <laughs> that's a cool little table. I didn't realize that when I put it down, but that's a uh, pretty neat burrito. Anyways, next we have some just decorative things here. So the other few things you can build in here, we got some eggs. You can place them down different sizes. You got small, medium, large. We've got some coins as well as gems. Same thing. You can kind of place them down in different little spots or, or amounts. Um, got some gold bars with some pretty good detail on them. Not going to lie. Like, the detailing on these is just insane. Anyways, so yeah, I got some gold bars. Same idea. can place them down and just kind of decorate your place up if you want to have, like, a nice dragon's horde or something. I don't know. Kind of cool. Now, the one thing that looks a little funky. Um, we do have this here. So, I'm going to take that out. Um, you're not going to... not going to let me. You're going to be weird. Um, yeah, so that kind of glitched out in there a little bit. Um, I put it on, and it... Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know where it went. It just didn't... Uh, doesn't seem to be there. So, uh, let's see. Let's pick that back up. And we'll place that there. Okay, so... You can basically take your weapon and uh, place it on here. However, as you, as you can see, they don't exactly fit on there properly. Um, I think it's more meant for, like, uh, you know, your swords, your your axes, your things like that. Um, if you're going to put any kind of weapon on there, most of them just kind of look weird. Um, I feel like, again, that's probably just, a, uh, just an issue with that. Where did that go? And then when you take it off, I feel like the stuff deletes. Um, I don't know where that shotgun went. So maybe, maybe, maybe be careful um, if you're using that weapon rack and you uh, put anything on there that you might want. Um, seems to uh, seems to be missing. Anyways, so that is those. The last thing here is we got some dragon heads. Now, I thought they had to go on a trophy stand, but they don't, which is why I just kind of placed that one there. They can just go on your walls, and they come in different sizes as well. They go all the way from extra small all the way up to large. Um, I only put three of them here just to kind of show, but uh, these are really, really nice too. Very detailed. Um, the extra teeth coming through, I didn't realize how I was really looking at it. I was like, dude, that is, that is cool. Like, I don't know. I, I I, I like little details. Anyways, so uh, yeah, that is basically all there is in the Clippin's Decor Conquest Furniture. If I forgot anything, like I said, maybe let me know down below. Um, if you are the mod creator, actually, maybe, you know, let me know how some of this stuff works. That would, that would really help. But anyways, the third and final one in today's video. I have not been able to get to work. So, the third one is called Rogue Lava Golem. Now, this one here... There's not a whole lot in the description. There's no pictures or thumbnails or anything like that as of recording the video. It, it absolutely could have changed by now. Um, and it says it adds a lava golem cave as well as a spawn to the island. Which is why we are actually over here on the island right now. Just kind of doing the, the mod showcase over here today. Um, I have flown around all over the map. I can't find the new cave anywhere. I don't know if they modified one of the caves, but I cannot find the cave anywhere. Um, aside from going and testing each and every cave to see if they've changed it. I also cannot seem to find the lava golem on here at all. Um, it doesn't even have the golem. So... Nope. Nope. So yeah, no lava golem and no golem. As well as when I come into my actual admin panel, it's got a dino scanner here. And even rescanning, I've done dino wipes. I can't find it anywhere. Um, there's no lava golem. There's no regular golem. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Um, so again, I was going to show this one off in today's episode. But unfortunately, I'm not able to find it or locate any part of it. Uh, there's, I also went to the Steamforge page and there's no spawn commands. There's, there's really nothing on it at the moment. Um, 
So I can't even spawn one in to show anybody. I, I'm just not sure where or what to do with this mod. So at the moment, again, if the mod creator is watching, maybe they can let me know how this is supposed to work, where it is, and uh, we can definitely go and test it out in a different episode. Um, but until then, maybe if any of you guys have tried this already and you know whereabouts the spawn is, if you could uh, let me know in the comments section, that would be absolutely helpful. I'd be able to actually go and check it out myself, and uh, it would probably help a lot of other people. So, with that out of the way, I think that's going to do it for the episode today, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that sub button, tell a friend, share it around, all that cool stuff. Most importantly, hopefully you're all being kind to one another, being kind to yourselves, and I will see each one of you guys here real, real soon.